You look like a man in need of a drink. I don't know you, do I, love? It's not often one sees a new face around here. I'm a pirate. Keep it down, will you? Pirates are about as popular as the pox around here. I hope you're not with... Oh, what's his name? Captain Crow. What if I am? Nah, you're no villain. I can feel it in my bones. I'm Sophia. What brought you here? Didn't have much choice, love. The old empire's in ruins. Miguel and me, we saw the writing on the wall in Caldera. So we took the first ship out. Tell me more about Arborea. Well, it's a big old place, Arborea. You can find most things you need here on the Sword Coast. It's not the safest place in the world. But we've got the Inquisition to protect us. I'd like to know more about the Sword Coast. Fire away, love. Why is this spit of land called the Sword Coast? God oh, blimey, love. What a question to ask. You don't know. I suppose. If, well, on the map it looks curved. A bit like the blade of a cutlass. Could be worse. They could have called it the Pork Sword Coast. Why wasn't this coast destroyed? I don't know. But just because it hasn't been destroyed, doesn't mean it's not dangerous. But we've got the protectors to patrol the place. Is it dangerous? Well, there's wild animals for starters. Monkeys and jaguars and what have you. And then there's the Shaganumbi. Savages who live somewhere inland. We don't trade with them. But you let them work for them. Any you see round here are slaves, love. I could use a proper drink, yeah. No one goes thirsty at my place. What can I do for you, love? Grog, is it? What else have you got, apart from Grog? Take a look, love. I'll exchange most things. But where treasure's concerned, I can pay you in gold. Sounds pretty good. Anything else you want to know, love? You only have to ask. What treasure can you find here? The old temples are filled with gold and jade. Statues, idols, masks. Any man brave or stupid enough to go looking for treasure can end up very rich. Or very dead. Of course, if it's gold you're after. I've got a job needs doing. It's not exactly a risk-free proposition, mine. Is there anything particular you want to trade? Well, since you ask, love, I can always use a few decent bottles of wine. Not so long ago, this storehouse wasn't guarded very well. Most of the wine got liberated. What's that got to do with me? Almost everyone round here has a bottle stashed away somewhere. If you find one, I'll pay you well for it. What do you say? How many bottles do you need? Five will do me, but I'll take whatever you can find. I'll see what I can lay my hands on. Good. I'll be right here, love. And if you're looking for someone, you'll probably find him here. Teach me something. Everything I know, I learned at the University of Life, but I'll try. Let's trade.
No, I haven't got time right now. They pay me to stand guard, not talk. Yes, I'm Miguel, storehouse master here at Puerto Isabella. And what can I do for you? This colony, quite a place. It's a foothold, really. A base to expand out into the rest of the continent. The lowest level is in the harbor, where you'll find a gate and the storehouse. It's forbidden for you to go there, though, or onto the ship. The central level's the craftsmen and pig farmers. Commandant Sebastiano and his protectors are up top in the garrison. Anything else I can do for you? Where am I allowed to go? Not into any of the buildings, particularly the storehouse or the ship. And the garrison? You'd have to see Commandant Sebastiano about that. Any other entrances into this place? A path through the valley to the central level, guarded of course. And then there's the main gate up near the garrison. That's guarded too? You even have to ask. Have you goods you can sell me? No, my wife Sophia handles that. I thought you were the storehouse master. Like I don't have enough to do, all the paperwork and stock keeping. And since Alcazar instituted rationing, everything has to be double-checked. Bookkeeping's a very nerve-wracking business, you know. Anything goes wrong and it's me who gets blamed. People. They really are a bunch of ungrateful bastards. You said it, my friend. You said it. You seem to be a man who gets around. You could say that. There are some cargo crates lying on the beaches. It's all stuff that's been washed ashore at some point. And you want me to bring them to you? I'll reward you handsomely for it. So think about it. Why the rationing? Purely a precautionary measure. It's all because of that pirate crow. Until we know how much of a threat he is, it's best to be careful. Who knows how long we might be here. What do you know about Crow? He just suddenly appeared offshore one day and attacked one of our outposts. Only Alcazar's quick actions saved the colony from being looted. 
What did he do? Seized and sank Crow's ship. Pity about the provisions aboard. We could have used them. So what's Crow up to now? He's lost his ship, but he's still somewhere out there in the jungle. Pirates. There's no end to the trouble they cause. So I'd be careful if you're planning on going out there. Alcazar's playing a waiting game with him. That's why we're on rations. Looking at the guns. Beauties, aren't they? The muzzles were especially cast for this expedition. Got a much longer range than most deck guns. Nice. Nice. Nice! What do you see here are the finest cannons ever made on Caldera? You're the cannoneer, right? Is it that obvious? Yes. Straight to the point. I like that. Fact is, sometimes I get a bit carried away. Cannons of my life, though. I love them. You, uh, know much about the sea? You look like a sailor. I'm with the Inquisition. Really? But you look so... piratey. I was hoping to hear some pirate sea battle yarns. Ah, well, never mind. Have you ever served aboard ship? Of course. Cooped up in the dark, being pitched this way, rolled that way. Takes a master cannoneer to fire off a good shot in that sort of situation. Why are the cannons facing seaward? We've got muskets to keep the Moluccas at bay. But what if a ship comes? Crow's tried his luck already, cheeky bastard. But the Black Betty gave chase and sunk him. Are those all the cannons? No. There's more on the towers so we can catch the enemy in crossfire, see? What are you doing?
I don't understand why Miguel is so attached to his old powder bag. He never uses it, so why not sell it and make a bit of money from it? Hmm. Go on, get out of it! Go on, get out of it! What have we here? Pirate, are you? Good man. Well, pull up a pew and come join me then. Plenty of room. <laughs> Inquisition seems fond of you. Letting you roam about as you want, eh? There's some things you don't need to know. Man with secrets, eh? I can respect that. But you didn't swim here, so you must have a ship nearby, I'm guessing. So, why did you land here? Captain's idea. We weighed anchor in a small bay not far from here. The captain, he took off into the jungle with a troop of the lads alongside him. You didn't go with them? Not me job. Ships cook me. Fighting someone else's duty. Closest I get to danger is boiling up lobsters. Nippy little bastards they are. There's a watchtower not far from that bay. Aye, manned by a couple of Inquisition novices. Easy pickings for the captain. What happened then? Well, we raided the watchtower food stores, and I started cooking up a nice stew. I mean with the Inquisition. Oh well, we saw sails. One of those bloody big Inquisition warships. I was all for surrendering then and there. Only some bloody fool hero wanted to stop them boarding us. Full broadside of cannon fire soon put paid to him and the rest of us. What happened to your ship? The ghost. At the bottom of the sea. Now, more's the pity. She was an ugly old bit, but she always got you where you wanted to go. You were the only survivor. Ships cook. I know all the best places to hide and avoid the argy-bargy. As if we ever stood any chance against a boatload of protectors.
After her death, he supposedly broke a tooth from her comb after every fight. When only one tooth was left, he set out for the Crystal Fortress, where he intended to finish his vendetta and then bury the comb. That might be worth remembering. Treat this place with res- Who are you? Leave me alone, brute. I'll scream. I did knock, but I didn't expect to find a woman of your stature in the garrison. I apologize profusely if I disturbed you. Of course not. So rude of me not to introduce myself. I'm Isabella Dolores de la Florentina, daughter of the Commandant. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. So, what do you do here? Fashion is my passion. I've been researching. I have a vision, a new look for noble women. Leopard print. It'll be huge! Animal skins, horns, feathers. Not like the icky natives' clothes. Wild, but classy. Exactly. You understand there's a market. Hmm, okay. But you'd need to get all the right equipment. Animal trophies are much sought after. Yes, but I mean, you need to remove the skins. Oh, I have both a hunting knife and pinking shears. Say, are you going to be in town long? You want me to help you with something? Oh, you are so sweet. Well, now you mention it, do you think you could get me some materials for my designs? Animal trophies, I'm guessing. Well. Jaguar skin would be nice. You can use my knife to skin it. For accessories, I wanted some fangs and maybe a tusk. You'll need a jaw chisel for that. And it would make me so happy to have the feather of a firebird for my hairpiece. The natives could show you how. Please say you'll help me. Do you like it here? Oh yes, it's so inspiring to someone creative like me. We are creating a new world. Though I suppose the fact the old one is at war is less good. I'll do what I can. Thanks. Here's the knife. Maybe I'll make you a reward. I brought you some animal trophies. Show me. A giant tusk. Boys, so prone to exaggeration. I suppose it'll do for an earring. A few fangs. Could you not find any predators? I, I mean, thank you. Lovely. A jaguar skin. Only a little mangy. It's perfection. Oh, I am so thankful. Shiny. I can do. No, I don't have time. Hey, you. What's this? A pirate on the loose in Puerto Isabella? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't have you clapped in irons. The Commandant knows me. Sure he does. Suit yourself. But the Commandant won't be happy if he hears you gave me grief. Right, but if I find out you're lying, I'll mess you up something terrible. So can I see him now? You may speak with the Commandant. Mind you keep a civil tongue while you're at that. You! What are you doing here? Don't you have a mission on Takarigua? I'm looking for Crow. He's got the weapon I need. That devil! We sank his ship! Not that he was aboard at the time, confound the man. Now my scouts tell me he's in cahoots with the Malakas, gone to ground in some heathen temple of theirs. The Earth Temple, I think they call it. 
What if the weapon had been aboard? That weapon is the devil's work. Bottom of the sea is the best place for it. I doubt Crow would have gone anywhere without it anyhow. All he left aboard the ghost was a skeleton crew. All dead now, of course. Except for one prisoner, Hawkins. Have you any idea what they're up to in the temple? There's only one reason Crow would be interested in these Malakas. Black magic. It couldn't be anything else. Has Hawkins told you anything? Nope. He's played it dumb thus far, the insolent dog. A fellow pirate might have more luck loosening his tongue, though. Just make sure he knows what's coming to him if he doesn't start talking. I'll have a word with him. Be my guest. You'll find him at the foot of the garrison tower. I'll deal with Crow. I've had the temple under surveillance. Trust me, you can't do it alone. Then join with me. My duty is protecting Puerto Isabella, not attacking heathen temples. You won't have to, I can do that. You want me to hand over my protectors and leave Puerto Isabella undefended? I could always ask the Malakas for help. It's bad enough that you've been knocking about with a bunch of pirates, but getting involved with those savages? If that's your plan, don't even bother coming back. A few good marksmen are all I need. But you didn't sail here alone? Where are your pirate chums? Guarding the ship. Drinking themselves into oblivion, more like miserable rabble. As ever, when there's heroes' work to be done, it's all down to the Inquisition. So will you help me or not? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I sent a chap to scout out the temple. Let's see what he has to say first. His name's Venturo. Find out what he has to report. Then I'll decide if I'm going to help you. Where are your scouts? At the Earth Temple, where Crow's hiding out. Go to the gate next to the garrison. Aguilar will fill you in. I need a better weapon. The quality of our blades is justly renowned, but I think our muskets will be of interest to you. What have you got for me? Fine blades can be forged from copper, and should you need pistol ammunition, you can stock up at Webster's. But you'll want a musket above all else. Nice fortress you have here. Yes, a great deal of work's gone into it over many years. Alcazar, we might have to send a few chaps on a special mission. Yes, sir, Commandant. Any suggestions for volunteers? I can think of a few specialists. Jolly good. Off you pop. Now listen here, men. I need volunteers for a very special mission. That means the port will have fewer defenders for the meantime. So I need you all to exercise the utmost vigilance. Understood? Stand to attention. Watch it, boy. Don't make any trouble here. We're watching you. Stand to attention. <laughs> <laughs> 